Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick video on Diddy, and then there's another one, another lawsuit. Listen, guys, I think before Friday, he's going to have about 10 to 15 more. They seem to be coming fast and furious. Ever since this video dropped of Cassie being um, uh, abused by Diddy in 2016 at their hotel, the lawsuits have been coming and are coming in the coming. We just learned of one yesterday, and now here there is another one today. Let me go ahead and share the screen. So Diddy, new as a lawsuit, woman claims he gave her substances and art her. A new Diddy accuser is suing him over multiple SAs she claims started back in the 90s after they met in New York City, TMZ has learned. A plan pro said she was a student at the Fashion Institute of Technology, and she says he offered to mentor her in the fashion industry. After showering her with gifts and flowers, April claims they met up in 1995 at a Soho bar where he plied her with alcohol and then brought her back to his room at the Millennium Hotel. In the docks, April says she started to feel ill and as if the walls were closing in on her as Diddy allegedly started to force himself on her. She says she was still conscious but unable to defend herself when he began arming her. April says she woke up the next morning, nude, sore, and confused. April says months later, she heard from Diddy as he began pursuing her again. She claims he, he, lure, he lured her with access to music industry events. In the lawsuit, her attorney describes her as a hopeful yet naive college student and took Mr. Combs at his word and believed that the first R was a possible milligan and decided to give him a second chance. She claims they were on their way to dinner, walking to his car in the parking garage when he forced her to perform oral on him. April says a garage attendant saw them, but Diddy was unfazed. After that alleged incident, April says she rejected his continued invitations and he grew angry, calling her incessantly and threatening to blacklist her in the industry. She claims he developed a monster persona. April claims there was an incident in 1996 when he ordered her to his apartment and when she got there, she was introduced to Kim Porter. She claims he forced ecstasy down her throat and then demanded she have um, relations with Kim while he watch and pledged himself. Eventually, she alleges he arged her again. April says she finally broke things off in 1998, but then had a run-in with Ken at a restaurant where April was working. According to the suit, Ken told the restaurant owner April had tried to poison her, and if he didn't um, fire her, Diddy would shut down his business. April said she was fired. In the docks filed by Tyrone Blackburn, April says she and Diddy ran into each other once more in Rockefeller Center around the end of 2000 or early 2001, when she points out he was dating Jennifer Lopez. After exchanging pleasantries, um, she claims Diddy ended up coming back to her apartment, where he suddenly violently grabbed her and forced himself onto her, but she was able to fight him off, and he left. And there's this. Sometime last year, April claims someone told her then boyfriend he had seen a video of her having relations with Diddy. In the suit, she says she's been told Diddy recorded the encounter without her knowledge and has shown the video to multiple people. She is suing Diddy for SA, battery, and intentional infliction of emotional distress, but she also lists Bad Boy Records, Arista, and Sony Music Entertainment as defendants, claiming they enabled him to commit the crimes. We have reached out to Diddy's camp for a comment, nothing back yet. April's attorney is also representing Ronnie Jones, Liza Gardner, in the lawsuits they filed against Diddy late last year. Additionally, he's representing Grace, who sued Diddy's son, Christian Combs, a legend S.A. The Land Pro suit comes on the heels of the former model, Crystal McKenney, suing Diddy earlier this week for a alleged S.A. in 2003. Um, I will say this. 
Tyrone Blackburn is probably not the lawyer you want to go to if you want to have um, a chance of winning a case against Diddy. And maybe Tyrone put this lawsuit out because he figured, you know, Diddy's name is Mud now every since, you know, well, it's muddier every since the 2016 video came out um, the other day. And before that is one thing, I guess, for people to hear the words of what someone um, with, with their saying that Diddy did. It's another thing for people to actually see the visual. So when people saw the visual of Diddy um, attacking um, Cassie, it became really real to them. Where before that, it was like, you know, you could have swayed either way, right? But now you know for sure that exactly the way Cassie described it is the exact way that it pretty much happened. So I think Tyrone now feels like he, he got life again, so to speak. He got the breath in him again. And now he's coming up, you know, and this particular individual, April, is suing Diddy. I'm not going to sit here and point out what I feel about this particular case with her, um, why she feels that, you know, this person did it to her one time and then she went back. Um, and then she add Ken's Porter name into this um, suit. This is getting very messy. It's getting reckless. And I just feel when people sue, I think you should have to 100% stick to Oh, stick to perhaps identifying and saying things that directly pertain to you. Kim Porter is not here to deny or collaborate on said claims. Anyway, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Um, let me know your thoughts on this latest lawsuit. And I think this is one of thousands that are probably about to come against Diddy. Listen, he made his bed. He has to sleep in it. Yes, there's that saying. And so he has a, 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 a messy world to um, you know deal with now. I have to say this though, and I probably say this in every video that I do about Diddy, my heart is breaking, breaking for the daughters, breaking for the daughters. I mean, they're 17. This is supposed to be um, some of the best times of their life because they're in their last year of high school. And their last year of high school, they're dealing with all of this controversy surrounding their dad. And not just controversy, is 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 nasty, despair despicable, horrific, horrendous, um, horrendous um, controversy. Listen, guys, chat with me and I'll chat back and I'll see you on the next video.